Hi everybody, this is Women Blockchain coming to you from Consensus 2022 and I'm here with the founder of Fala, Marvin. Hi Marvin, how are you doing? Great, thank you. Oh. Good, yeah. <laughs> I'm doing very well as well. I really liked seeing your presentation earlier today and I just want to ask you to explain to the audience uh, what Fala is, what it does, and what the use case is on the Polkadot ecosystem. Cool, cool. Thank you for having me. And uh, yeah, my name is Marvin Tu. I'm the co-founder of Fala Network. And what we are building is actually a decentralized uh, computation cloud. And we build it because we realize that uh, to build uh, decentralized applications or just uh, applications, smart contracts can only replace part of the backend program, you know, into more trusty. And uh, the rest piece of the applications are still running on centralized cloud, like Google Cloud, like Amazon Cloud. So this is our purpose. We want to build a uh, physical servers providing to the Web3 builders, but all of these physical servers are running behind a Web3 protocol. So this is what we are trying to do. Wonderful. And what about, can you explain to the audience what makes you different within the space uh, in terms of uh, how quick your speed is and maybe get into a little bit of uh, fat contracts? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, so s the s smart contract is actually Turing complete program. It means that uh, it's scription language and uh, everything have to be running on the blockchain. So there are many use cases you can't write with smart contract. For example, uh, if you, uh, uh, for example, if you want to host a game, then you have to interact, uh, enable different players to interact with each other, like have the message uh, talking with each other while you're playing a game, or. Uh, uh, call APIs to other services and s such type of program can't be you know just written by a smart contract and this is, is where fight contract coming from you know like it provides like a richer space richer environment to uh, provide like to you know pretty like uh, back-end solution in web3 to developers to make sure that no matter it's um, uh, a games or metaverse or DeFi, the co application can be completely running in Web3. Yeah, a very easy to go uh, example is Uniswipe. You know, Uniswipe, uh, the, 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 the program, the DeFi code is written by smart contract, but the front end is still running by the company on some cloud. So if uh, someone wants to shut it down, they could. But with a Web3 cloud, you can never shut in since then. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's one of the biggest issues I would say in the space is mm -hmm. decentralized storage. You're right. Most of the, uh, the servers are central servers. Mm -hmm. So you're actually going to be, so what you're saying is you're also going to have a physical aspect of your business? Uh, yeah, uh, the, 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 biz, uh, the, the, the way that Fala platform, platform run is like more like a Uber, you know? In one hand, uh, we uh, we distribute our token uh, to the server providers so that they will keep on land and providing their computation power to the network. On the other hand, we make you know uh, attractive to develop developers to use Fala like Fed contract, like running uh, metaverse game servers. So it's like a platform, like a Uber, you know, like uh, uh, the two two sides beneficial ecosystem. Very interesting. Mm -hmm. And what do you have upcoming, uh, you know, this year that you're excited about in terms of what you guys will be doing? Uh, thank you. Yeah. So there is one big milestone we already achieved in this year, which is we successfully uh, get engaged with over 15k servers on our network now. So it means like our tokenomic work very well, and I think we are the one of the biggest uh, computation cloud in all projects now. We got over 15k servers. Man. And so our next step is to get more use case and more usage for these cloud resources. And uh, this is, and I know like Firecoin, Arve, Plus, they are very targeting on decentralized data storage, but we are 
very few of the project targeting on data competition. So the way we, 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 we are excited, excited about this year is, first we will launch Fed contract, which is a revolution level uh, contract for Web3 builders. And uh, we, are expect, we, we already finished the code base and we already test it on our test net. And uh, yeah, we will launch it uh, in uh, maybe uh, in the next month. And uh, there's a, another very interesting thing with Fed contract is that with Fed contract, you could probably use Fala for free. It means unlike uh, like you are using uh, Amazon Cloud or GCP Cloud, you have to pay the bills. You have to give credit cards to that platform. When you use Fala Cloud, you just need to stake some Fala token and the platform will automatically rent you the CPUs, the cloud resources. And wow. yeah, and after you finish using it, you just mm. withdraw your token and it's all released. So it could be the first free cloud. You know, so this is the very exciting moment for us. And of course, we will also launch Fala World. It's a, 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 a soul bound game platform and it's built on top of Fala. So two major like milestones this year. Wow, congratulations, that's amazing. Thank you, yeah, it is. I think uh, it's very interesting, I haven't heard that uh, business concept before, so I just kind of want to know how you're um, spreading the knowledge, building your community, and, and working within the community. Yeah, uh, community always be the driving behind our network. I can put some examples first. Like, we don't have a foundation, you know? All of the projects I know, uh, most of them have a foundation uh, near their, when they genesis, token allocation, something like that. But Fala don't have a foundation. It means that we can only count on on-chain treasury. And on-chain treasury is based on governance, based on democracy, democracy uh, voting. So the community actually control all of the funds for Fala. So, for example, we are work. Uh, my company is called Hardforest. It's a company behind the, the community behind the network. But we can only apply to the on-chain treasury to get funds. So in this way, we can build a very healthy community. The second case is actually uh, the crowd loan. You know, generally uh, when Pod prior chain launch, they have a separate token on Kusama and Pod two chains. But for Fala, because we concerned about like. By doing this, we might uh, make the, the network be separate you know, for, into two communities because it's different benefit, different interests. So we decided don't do it. And Fala is the first project don't have separate token on Kusama and Podot. Don't get me wrong, guys. We have parachains on both Kusama and Podot. We already launched, we already running on Kusama. We already, we already run for over 13 months, I guess. But we don't have a separate token. We only have one token. So one token builds one community. So this is, um, yeah, we really care about community and every decision we made, we already done, I think over 50 times on-chain voting for different decisions like no matter it's treasury or technical update or uh, big decisions like how much allocation for the crawl loan all of these decisions we make on-chain voting by the community so we really care about community and we got a strong community wow that's amazing i like the sound of that because you know, I, I'm also uh, in the same mindset. I think mm -hmm. it's about building that community, not really dividing, just uniting, especially that I think is the whole point of Polkadot. It could it work. <laughs> yeah, it could work. We let's work that. together. Let's be interoperable. Yeah. Let's make things work in, in the Web3 space. Yeah. Uh, and another question I think for you is maybe to give the audience a little bit of, about your background is mm -hmm. and why you're so excited to be in this space. Okay. Fala is built, uh, have two major co-founders. Uh, actually, we have, have uh, uh, several uh, mm -hmm. uh, uh, co-founders together to build the company, to build the uh, infra. But it's me and Hang who uh, uh, together uh, set it up. So uh, my background is like, I uh, after I graduate from college, I volunteered uh, to be a teacher in Xinjiang province in China uh, for a year, you know, to, uh, to teach uh, 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 economic stuff to the uh, students uh, mm -hmm. for free 
And after the volunteer gap year, I jumped into I, I, I jumped into Didi company as an intern. And Didi is actually a um, Uber in China, and they finally beat Uber out of China. So during that period, I feel the tense, you know, the passion, how things grow, growing in technical, you know, it's, mm-hmm. it's like crazy. Like the first day is 5,000 orders per day. And after a month, it's 5 million orders per day. It's like crazy growth. And, uh, but uh, after that, I worked in Tencent, uh, which is the biggest uh, technical company in China as well, like uh, for product manager, for AI perspective. Uh, for over two years and during that period I learned about how scary that technical company can control the personal data and use that data as a how to say as a as a as tools as toolings to earn more money from the market for example smart suggestions AI suggestions AI robots and advertisement so all of this because the, the thing is, after that, I, I came with uh, crypto and I realized the difference between two worlds, you know, the, f- for example, the Web2 world, also the technology is good and the slogans are attractive, like don't be evil, but they are controlled by company and the only purpose of the company exists is to earn more money. It's capitalism driven, but in another world like Web3, of course, now like people when they mention into crypto they always think okay it's 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 a place that have a lot of funds mm-hmm. but uh if you check really carefully none of the protocol purpose of kpi is profitable we don't talk about how the business module in for protocols for company of course but for protocols it don't have a business module the module is how to maximize the utility of your token or to build your uh, to make your protocol be widely used in the world so this is a huge difference and that made me I, I, I just can't when you realize something better you know you can't stay in the old school uh, scenario anymore so I, uh, I, uh, I, I, I found it fall out together with my partner Hong Yin which is ex-Googler, ex-Google engineer, uh, yeah, also for AI, and in the 2018, and in 19, we came with Polkadot, daughter Gavin Wood and Substreet. So we are the first batch of uh, Substreet builders and uh, the earliest, I think, Web3 Foundation grant winners in the space. So um, I'm um, not only building Fala, I'm also building Polkadot because we are part of the Polkadot ecosystem. I've been through all of the stuff in the past three years and I still believe in it very deeply. Awesome, that's a, that's a great explanation. I agree, I think Polkadot is a really good ecosystem and I like how the, uh, everybody can work together and people are not just doing things to improve what they do on their own chain, but they they do things to improve uh, and help others within that yeah. ecosystem. Yeah, we are one piece actually. <laughs> exactly, yeah. it's like, exactly. It's different people with different chains, but actually they're all part of the same ecosystem. So. Yeah. Well, thank you so much, Marvin. It was thank a you. really fun to talk to you. Yeah, I, you. I learned a lot yeah, and I, I look forward to continuing to uh, collaborate together. Yeah, me too. Uh, thank you for hosting me, Ike, and uh, thank you for everybody uh, watch this video. Awesome. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. Bye-bye. Thank you.